So, good morning. I'm doing some laundry. There's always laundry to do in this house. Kids are playing. Uh, if I'm the most best in the world. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Ellie, look, I found another one. Ah! Look, look. I found another one, Ellie. <laughs> <laughs> He's so heavy. He's gotten heavy. Have you gotten heavier? <laughs> well, he's growing. Elliot, are you laying on your brother? Yeah, cool. <coughs> Is that nice, Elliot? Yeah. My brother. Elliot? Hey. Elliot? Okay, we're having dinner. Kids, what are we eating? Right Mom, look at my famous bacon. Ooh, yeah, we have some bacon on there tonight. Actual bacon, not just ham. Calm's bacon. Papa said I need to eat whatever he says, but I'm not listening to him. Well, why don't you try? No, I don't like corn. You. you don't like corn? What'd you say? I told him to eat uh, cheese and onion. Oh, Cam, do you want some more broccoli? Yes, ma'am. Here, watch out. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, der Speck ist fertig. Der ist fertig. Everybody is asleep and off to bed. And it's just nice to have a little bit of time to reflect a little bit. It's been a very, very, very busy couple of days. The chaos of Christmas. Like every year, I don't do very much cleaning. We just play with the toys. I mean, obviously I do pick up, picked up from dinner and food and all that stuff. I've continued to keep up with laundry today, but in general, Aside from wrapping paper and essentials, there hasn't been much picked up. The toys are all over the place. I just always figure, we'll do it tomorrow, you know? It's just us, and it's okay. And, um, yeah, there are worse things in the world than happy children with toys on the floor. Earlier, we were messaging with my brother-in-law and his, his girlfriend, and we they asked us what our yearly christmas ornament was this year um i wanted to show an ornament the ornament that we got this year that we got in um in italy it's little santa a little glass blown santa and he's riding in a little gondola so um i thought that was really funny Roman and i both really liked that it is glass and it's very very fragile, so we're very careful with it. But this sort of glass is a very typical medium that we saw everywhere in Venice. So it was really cool that we found a Christmas ornament. And this ornament, funny story, I actually bought it for um, a very, very close friend of mine who got married this year, and I, I gave this as a wedding gift because I just love giving Christmas ornaments as wedding gifts. I don't know if that's silly or crazy, but I just always think it's so fun to give a, a just a special little ornament to always make them think of their wedding year because I know how much that those ornaments mean to me when I see them every year on our tree. After I gave it to her, I kind of felt like, oh, I missed that ornament. It's so beautiful. I loved it so much. So I bought one for me and for Roman because this year is our 10th wedding anniversary. Okay, good morning everybody. We've actually been up for a few hours, but now I'm just opening up the blinds a bit more. Um, it's a beautiful day. I think I'm gonna take the kids out on a walk. It's a bit of a normal-ish day, uh, only in that Roman is back to work today. Roman's got a lot going on right now, work-wise, and just wanted to, he just wanted to get back. So um, we knew that, we, we planned for that. We already planned for all that. We. He was off, um, well he did home office one day while we were visiting my mother-in-law and then, and so that was the day that I took the kids to the Christmas market and then he was off the next day. So he was off for like a day and a half. Linnea got these little plastic beads that you iron, like I think we call them perler beads, perler beads. Basically you just, they're little plastic beads that you iron on and they make shapes. She got a bunch of those um, from, from Klistkind and so she and her brothers have been working on that stuff. and. Yeah, they've just been really busy. It's such, to me, a happy time to hear them busily playing with their things because I think the 
the the desire to play with these toys will of course wane throughout the year everything still feels really new and fresh and exciting and so the kids are happy and for now though I need to go and I need to get dressed um, we've just been hanging out here and I've been catching up on laundry and finally got the living room sorted out a little bit for like normal life to kind of take over again um, we've moved toys and stuff to pretty much where they're going to be. I wanted to point out two things that make me very happy that I got for Christmas this year. Um, and I just wanted to show in case anyone else, especially here in Germany, is kind of looking for something similar. So I knew that these existed, but I've never actually had one of these. And it is a family planner. You guys, I have tried to keep all of our dates and appointments and things in our in my phone. I also have like a book family planner that I've looked into that I've had. To be honest, I just don't use it very much because what I need is like the whole month. I need to see the whole month as an overview. And I will tell you guys, I am absolutely thrilled <laughs> by this. It has five columns, so it's big enough for all of us to have a name and all of us. And I think this is going to be really great because then I can mark like when Roman's out of town. Obviously, I've got the boys' birthdays in the month of February. So seriously, Santa had this under the tree for me and I'm thrilled because I cannot wait to use that. I'm already loving it. The next thing was I've been really wanting like a nice, good smelling travel perfume. And... Jo Malone came to the rescue. This is the fragrance that I got, English Pear and Freesia, and it smells so good. I wanna spray it on everything. It's just so nice. This brand is just such a British classic, and if you're looking for something that is special, but um, it's really great quality, really good, I'm gonna, I would recommend Jo Malone just perfect so yeah I just wanted to point those two things out um, and now I, I really do need to get dressed and get going I got a fossil <gasps> you got one is do you see it where is it oh I see a little something Left cool. Are you gonna keep digging, or do you, are you done for the day? I'm gonna keep digging. Okay. We'll wash them all at the end once you're done. Good. The so first rock. <laughs> to... Good morning, everybody. Greetings from the playground. It's actually the afternoon. It's a very mild day and there's nobody here, so we're taking advantage of that because usually this playground's packed. Just be careful going down the slide. You guys all have your snow pants, so it'll be super slick. Okay, I'm gonna sit right here and watch you guys. We, we are not allowed to go on the slide because, because we already set sail. Oh, yeah, then you'll crash into the water, huh? The sand is water? That's the bed? Okay, have fun. Oh, the bad guy? Hello everybody. So we're just getting some fresh air today. The nice thing about Elliot being almost three is that he can be more independent on the playground and Cam and Linnea are pretty good about hanging out with him and keeping him part of their game. I love just watching him play. I love just watching. Get him! <laughs> it's very warm for being December, almost January. It's a very warm, I mean, we're still in coats and gloves, but um, it's nowhere near as cold as it has been in recent weeks, so it's just nice to get outside. The sun is shining. We haven't had very much sunshine in recent weeks, so it's really nice to just sort of feel, to feel that. I'm so grateful for that. Hey everybody. Um, I'm gonna keep the vlog off today. 
I, so here's the backstory. Something's going on with our washing machine, so I'm unable to do laundry in the washing machine. So I've gotta catch up on a bunch of, bunch of laundry and I've gotta like do it all in the bathtub. Thank goodness we have a bathtub, honestly. Otherwise, I'd be washing a bunch of like big things in the sink, which would be really hard. There's something going on with the water that fills up the washing machine, like from the pipe that fills up the washing machine with water. So, um, yeah, it's just kind of one of those things that's quite difficult at the moment. So, I've got lots of kids and laundry and all that stuff. So, um, I'm going to spend the day trying to work on all that. And then I'm just really tired. So, um, I'm going to listen to my body and just give myself a day to uh, do something else. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> I don't I don't think that's safe, Roman. I don't think that's a good idea. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't feel safe. <laughs> I mean I if if it's <laughs> Oh. <laughs>